हेलो एवरी वन सो वेलकम टू माई फोर्थ लेक्चर ऑन द प्ले लिस्ट ऑफ मल्टीपल इंटीग्रेशन सो टूडे आई बी टॉकिंग अबाउट आइट्रेटेड इंटीग्रल्स एंड फोबिनिस थियरम ओवर आर्बिट्ररी रीजन ओके सो इन माई लास्ट लेक्चर आई टूक एग्जाम्पल्स वेयर द रीजन वॉज अ रेक्टेंगुलर रीजन एंड द थिंग्स वेर प्रीटी मच सिंपलर यर ऑल्सो द थिंग्स आर सिंपलर बट देन यू हैव टू बी बिट केयरफुल वेन यू प्ले विथ आर्बिट्ररी रीजन so in previous lecture if you have observed i mean if you have missed i will put the link in the description but if you have observed our domain our domain was a rectangular domain okay so i mean the region d was bounded by the horizontal and the vertical lines whenever you have such a scenario and if you want to find the volume under the surface f of x y and if you take dy dx is it will be da over here so you can take either dx dy or dy dx whichever order you like because of fubini so thanks to fubini you take any order you always get the same answer provided your function is a continuous function okay so now whenever you have a rectangle we saw that the limits for so dy dx so suppose for x the limits are a to b and for y the limits are c to d okay so this a b c d are numbers and that's what you have observed in my previous examples all the limits were numbers okay there were no variables over here so and because it's a rectangle right horizontal and vertical line so you will have numbers now when you interchange the order this also simply gets flipped so here you will have a to b and here you will have c to d so that's the good thing whenever all the things are numbers that means it's a rectangle when you are interchanging the order this also simply gets flipped no need to worry this will come here this will go there that's all and you simply solve it but when you have a variables over here and when you are interchanging the order this will not get get flipped as it is okay you have to take care some points and that's what i'm going to tell you today with the help of examples so let's see the examples over arbitrary region okay so let's take the first example f of x y equal to x plus y i'm taking a very simple function because my aim main aim is to tell you how to find the limits okay now suppose your d uh, let me take r as a region because i am referring thomas book and thomas used the notation r instead of d so suppose r is a r is a region bounded region and it is bounded by say y equal to x cube so y equal to x cube uh, let me take y equal to 8 and x equal to 0 so these are the three curves by which my region is bounded now whenever this thing is given to you you will always draw the region that is my suggestion okay so whenever you see if the region is not given to you you always draw the region because you need to find the limits over here right f of xy will be here and then you choose the order so to write down the limits sometimes it is easy from here but it's always good choice to it's always good thing to draw the region okay now what is y equal to x cube it is something like this right it is the odd function so this is the graph for y equal to x cube if you don't know this graph the standard graph you can download any free software like i have grapher free in my phone you can download that grapher free app or any other app you like and you simply put y equal to x cube it will give you the curve but if you know well and good if you doesn't know you can download that app now what is this next is y equal to 8 so y equal to 8 is a horizontal line and x equal to 0 means it is my y axis this is x equal to 0 this is y equal to x cube so what is the bounded region this is the region you have so whatever surface you have say z equal to x plus y the plane the volume below this plane and above this region so that's what the volume you are supposed to find okay now to do this it's da over here so i need to choose the order of integration so okay let's go by first dy dx and then we'll also see why we will see by dx dy as well now for this order since dy is inside so here you will have the limits of y here you will have the limits of x okay now to find the limits of y again if you recall my previous lecture third lecture how do you find the limits of y to find the limits of y you always draw the line parallel to y axis you draw the line parallel to y axis and you see at which point your line is entering the domain and at which point your line is leaving the domain and that will be the upper lower and the upper limit so here your y is entering from x cube and your y is leaving from y equal to 8 line so this is the limit for y okay now it's always good job to find the intersection point so here what will be the intersection point my y is 8 and what this is nothing but y equal to 8 
and y equal to x cube so this implies your x cube equal to 8 so this implies your x is 2 so when my x is 2 my y is nothing but 8 so this point is 2 comma 8 okay good now what is the limits of x now there is no need of y so since there is no need of y and you want to find the limits of x you project this region on your x axis you project this region on your x axis so when you do the projection over here what will i get i will only get this segment 0 comma 2 so your x is going from 0 to 2 okay and uh, now we are done right now you can simply do the integration so okay uh, let me take more simple function just since this will take time and i don't want to waste your time let me take the constant function one and now this is easy right so x is going from 0 to 2 what is this integration of 1 with respect to y is y only so this is y and this is x cube to 8 dx this is nothing but 8 minus x cube dx and when you integrate this this is 8x 0 to 2 minus x raised to 4 upon 4 0 to 2 and you get a number what is this this is 16 minus 4 which is 12 uh, yeah provided my calculations are correct so 12 is the volume okay so this is how you solve now suppose if you want to interchange suppose you don't like this order okay you like dx dy then what will you do will you simply interchange this answer is no why because see always keep one thing in mind the outer limits will always be numbers there should not be variable on the outer side because at the end these are the limits you'll be putting and you should get a number at the end because it's a volume so you should never have a variable as the output therefore your outer limits will always be number they will never be a variable okay so you cannot simply interchange like what you did for rectangles okay so you have to be little bit careful while interchanging the order it's not difficult it's easy the only thing is you need to be a bit cautious so now what is the volume now if i want to take the order dx dy so my y will be outside my x will be inside now again if you recall now if you want to find the limits of x what do you do you draw the line parallel to x axis whenever you want to find the limits of x you draw the line parallel to x axis and you see at which point it is entering the domain and at which point it is leaving the domain so it is entering from y axis on y axis what is my x my x is always 0 on y axis and it is leaving from this y equal to x cube so what is my x x is nothing but y raised to 1 by 3 if y is x cube x is nothing but y to the power 1 by 3 and now you want to find the limits of y so you simply project this region on y axis and you will see that your y is going from 0 to 8 and now this is simple calculation right what is integration of 1 it is x so you will have y raised to 1 by 3 dy and what is this integration this is nothing but 4 by 3 upon 4 by 3 and this is 0 to 8 so this is nothing but 3 by 4 and 8 raised to what is 8 ka cube root it is 2 and 2 raised to 4 is 16 and this is nothing but 12 so see you got the same answer 12 so that's how and thanks to Fibini, Fibini proved that whenever you have a continuous function okay I won't tell you the precise theorem but you can google it out or you can refer Thomas book the theorem says whenever you have a continuous function and this limits they are continuous over this domain like 0 is continuous in the domain 0 to 8 yes is y raised to 1 by 3 continuous in this 0 to 8 yes so whenever these are continuous over this or you have a continuous region over this domain then the Fibonacci theorem says your answers are always equal okay so that's one thing okay now let me take one more example so that you will be the idea will be much more clear so as i said do not forget to draw the region always sketch the region okay now let's go for the second example suppose your function is again a constant function one and it can be anything just for the simpler calculation i'm taking one over here and it is bounded by this three curve it's a bounded region bounded by this three curve okay so now what is y equal to e raised to x it is this curve y equal to e raised to x what is y equal to one y equal to 1 so this is my 1 over here so this is my y equal to 1 line and what is x equal to 2 x equal to 2 is this vertical line so what is the region this is the region bounded by these three curves okay what is this point my x is 2 y is 1 what is this point my x is 2 and what is my y then e raised to 2 
so this is 2 this is 0 this is 1 this is e raised to 2 so always plot the important points that is the first thing you will do okay so now we want to find the limits okay so i mean you need to find the volume so you need to find the limits function okay what order you want let's take dy dx so inside you will have the limits of y outside you will have the limits of x okay now your y is going from where to where to find the limits of y as i told you earlier you draw the line parallel to y axis and you see from where the line is entering the domain and where it is leaving the domain so it is entering from y equal to 1 and it is leaving from y equal to e raised to x fine and to find the limits of x you project this on x y axis so when you project this you get the limits of x to be from 0 to 2 okay so that's how you will find the limits okay now let's interchange when i interchange one times dx dy now i will have inside the limits of x and the outside limits of y now to find the limits of x what do you do you draw the line parallel to x axis you draw the line parallel to x axis and you see from where it is entering the domain it is entering from this curve which curve y equal to e raised to x and it is leaving from x equal to 2 so it is leaving from x equal to 2 and it is entering from where it is entering from y equal to e raised to x so what is my x my x is nothing but ln of y so my x is entering from ln of y okay and to find the limits of y what do you do you project this region on y axis so when you project this region on y axis this is over here this is over here and everything will be in the segment 1 to e raised to 2 so limits of y is 1 to e square and again thanks to Fibini all the functions are continuous therefore you solve by either way you get the same answer okay so i won't be solving this example this is a homework for you make sure you solve this example and you comment your answer in the comment section okay now this was one thing uh, yeah so that's all so now let me give you some homework problem you will answer those questions as well so here is the homework problem uh, i have written 2 and 3 because the previous example which i have not solved i only gave you the limits so you will solve that question and you will tell me the answer uh, take whichever order you like now this is the second example this is the function this is a region so you will draw the region okay that's the homework draw the region and what will give me as an answer you will tell me the order that you have choose suppose you have chosen dy dx so you write down dy dx comma and you tell me the limits of x like whatever say so x is going from whatever 0 to pi and y is going from somewhere to somewhere so this is how you will answer order the order you have chosen limits of x and limits of y if you can give me both the order that will be like very good okay so that's one thing and this is the second one here also the same thing draw the region if x equal to ln y you don't know the graph don't worry this is nothing but y equal to e raised to x okay so draw the region and tell me the order and the limits as well as the answer okay so i hope now you know how to find the limits when the curves are not constants okay they are if they if they include the variable you know how to draw the region and how to find the limits and if you understood this lecture please do not forget to like subscribe and share thank you